À ce de vidéo, attention pour les deux comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. À image P80, décollage. satellite is on its way. Vega number 11 is blazing a trail across the equatorial skies. Over the Guiana Space Center. Is normal. He's telling, the, telling us the propulsion is normal. We're heading direct north, out towards the Caribbean. We broke the sound barrier and reached Mach 1 after 30 seconds. Picking up the signal at the station in Saint-Jean-du-Maroni, which is here at the Space Center or just outside it. We can hear the rumble of Vega reaching us. The job of the first three La stages is normal, le pilotage est calme is to get us away from the Earth. Vega is pushing itself away from gravity. Oh, we need a lot of firepower to do that. We're burning the P-81 first stage. P for premier étage. It's all going normally according to plan. Premier étage means first stage. 80 is the mass of propellant. Roughly, it's actually 89 tons. Bottom of the screen, our altitude on the left, 53 kilometers above Earth. Our distance is a straight line if you were to draw P80. a straight line from the pad. Z23. And here we are separating the first stage, so it's burnt its fuel, and we've switched on now the second stage. The Z23. The for about 1 minute and 40 seconds. Z for Zephiro, which is an Italian wind. A bit like the Sirocco or the Mistral. 23, because it burns 23 tons of solid propellant. Our speed on the bottom right, nearly three kilometers per second. Not per hour, per second. We're getting close now to what we call the Kármán line. That's 100 kilometers above Earth. We've just hit it. It's named after the Hungarian-American engineer, aerospace engineer, Theodor von Kármán, and it's the border with space. Basically, the higher you go, the thinner the atmosphere becomes, and the faster an aeroplane has to travel to stay up, once you get into space, the air is too thin to support wings. Pilotage est calme. And top right hand side is the trajectory, showing us the flight path, if you like, and the white cr cross is the actual position of the launch vehicle. Separation Z23. Separation of the Z-23, ignition of the next stage coming up, the Z-9. There it goes. And then we can expect the fairing, the nose of the vehicle, to fall away. So we no longer need the fairing because we are effectively in space. We don't have enough friction anymore to cause us any difficulties, so the satellite is safe to be exposed to for space. Now, Vega is particularly well suited to launching Earth observation satellites. This is the 23rd one to travel on board this versatile light launcher. And there are nine more in the order book. 